فلتصحبك السلامة في رحلتك باسل I knew it was you You're not the only one with eyes that see afar So, Tabed You have filled the streets with eyes and spies Such is the life of a Rafiq Without my knowledge, huh? where would we be? Knowledge is a tool, a weapon It can be used for good or ill and the Order is using it for ill indeed. What have you learned? Rot runs deep through the House of Wisdom. They are using some ancient book, hoping to build a wicked device. Mm. I have heard rumors of this blasphemous contraption. They call it their great work. The Order is experimenting on people. Lethally. I have stopped them for now. But someone called El Rabisu is running things at the House of Wisdom. Mm. Any idea about who this Rabisu character could be? I have my suspicions about the great scholar, Fazil Fahim. That fragile old man? The clues I have gathered tell me so. Mm. It could be. The House of Wisdom will be hosting a great symposium soon. An informal gathering of scholars. A lecture, refreshments, chatter. Even the great Arib will attend. Go! Spy out this puzzle with care. But do not throw your blade at the symposium. We don't want to show our hand just yet. Hmm. But if Fazil is guilty and alone, then like a viper, strike! But you must be sure. Before I act, I will be sure. The symposium should be here. Baghdad's brightest, sharing their wisdom. I am excited about Fazel's lecture. He will share the wisdom. Pardon me. I am looking for the great scholar's lecture. Fazal Fahim's lecture about the antediluvian antecedents of humanity will begin soon. In the meantime, please enjoy our ample stock of exquisite delicacies and tasty refreshments. Where 
عايز قريب المأمونية تبوت لقد صارت الأمور أبسطة بكثير مع نظام التبقين الشرقي فقام دباب المتجر لقد ترك لنا كلام عن قيمة ووجيله وارز قريب المأمونية تبوت وارز قريب I hope to catch the wave of her magnificent aura So rare to see her outside of the wrong city The beloved is in the garden Ruminating upon the perfection of nature. Oh, to be a flower held in her discerning hands, inspiring such languid verse. She must be relieved to be free of her wealthy patrons for a change. Oh, perhaps she leads an exciting secret double life, slipping out of the palaces to find inspiration in common life. <laughs> I doubt it. كم أرغب في الحصول على منهج نظريات علم الخيال بأرخميدس يقال إن الملك مايكل لديه نسخة The translator. What Punain? You should not be back so soon. I know. I'm still nervous, but I couldn't stay away from my books. I guess we must always do our duty. Wadaan. That astronomer might be one of them. Sayyidi, I am honored to make your acquaintance. Good to see more young people enjoying the House of Wisdom. Do you think the great scholar will give a good lecture? Do not waste time listening to his nonsense. I have written many more edifying and practical books instead. On which topics? I have written extensively about sundials, astrolabs, stars and planets, and the circumference of the Earth. Fascinating, Sayyidi. I shall read more of your work soon. Wadaan. That astronomer might be one of them, though I doubt it. Looks clear. I can use my weapons again if needed. I'd see you around. Indeed. And what brings you back? I want to show you something. This house of wisdom boards collect the wildest trinkets and gadgets. I have been here before, Nihal. This is Ahmed ibn Musa's office. Have you been sneaking in there? Does this remind you of your nightmares? No. More like something from the Bimaristan. Or a training chart of the Hidden Ones. Ah, uh, yes. The swift ways to kill silently. Death in seconds.
It gives me a tingle down my spine. Like I'm nearing a cosmic secret. You read too much about magicians and lost cities buried beneath the dunes. You don't read enough. Perhaps there are other worlds, other people, out among the stars. Nonsense. Ahmed and his brothers are capable of designing some fantastic devices. Not all of his ideas are that practical, I'm afraid. Don't be so smug. The world is full of wonders. This. I have seen this one before. Is this what you wanted to show me? Yes. It reminded me of that object we found at the palace. What is it? A drawing from an ancient book. There is something you are not telling me. You do not want to know what happens behind closed doors. Why? Because you do not know either? Because, as Dirwish says, sometimes it is better not to know the truth behind the things we must do. The truth, Basim, is that everything is here in front of you. But you refuse to look at it. This is about you. It has always been about you, ever since that night. I took an oath, Nihal. To leave my old life behind and walk this path of shadows. And maybe someday you will find the light. But until then, I will walk behind you every step of the way to remind you not to forget who you are. Is that a threat? I do not know. There is that poet a bit loves, whose work keeps turning up in unexpected places. Yes? Symmetry of sky and sea, but only in thine eye do these two planes meet. You have read my work. And who might you be? A lover of poetry, nothing more. And of order. Or should I say, chaos? I know only one living poet who loves chaos that much. Ali ibn Muhammad. Are you a fan of his pedestrian work? The rivalry between you two is legendary. It enhances the craft. I cannot choose. You are most diplomatic. But I would rather seek inspiration among these lovely blooms. Good day. Sounds like the lecture is about to begin. I should return to the Kahreman.
Pardon me. Is Fazl Fahim's lecture ready to begin? Indeed it is. Head inside, if you please. Welcome, one and all, to the House of Wisdom, center of learning in Baghdad, indeed, of the entire world. I am Fazil Fahim Al-Kimsa, first scholar of the House of Wisdom, wisest of the wise. Today, I will shock you with what may sound like outrageous blasphemy. <laughs> Do not fear, good people. Though I am old, my mind remains sharp as steel. Today I speak of mysteries, of creatures from the antediluvian age. Do not the ancient prophets tell us about giants from before the flood who forsook Allah and worshipped false idols? <laughs> Is it not possible these giants built marvels, works of wondrous power, now lost to us? Zahra and Hassan are both dead, slain by an assassin's blade. They are dead. Saidi, I urge you to hide until it's safe. Uh, uh, apologies, people, but our lecture has concluded. Please, feel free to explore the House of Wisdom's many fine chambers. You call yourself the great scholar, Fazil. You who burn books and hope the smoke will hide your crimes. How many did you sacrifice in your search for knowledge? How many did you use, damage, and discard in the name of discovery? Now you hide within the House of Wisdom. The house you led astray. But I will find you. And I will exact justice for every soul you savaged for your great work. It is true. Fazil leads the Order in Abbasia. I need to hunt him down. Gatekeeper, let me pass. Those who came before are... What are you talking about? Those who came before are... Let me get back to you. I've lost Puzzle's greatest work. <laughs> Looks clear. I can use my weapons again if needed. What do you mean you lost the great scholar's masterwork? I'm sorry. I was distracted by the presence of the famous poet Arib. Forget the poet! We better find Fazl's book, or we're both dead. Sounds like part of a passphrase. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> How exciting. What do you think frightened the great scholar? The old fool must have imagined one of his antediluvian creatures. He's an absolute disgrace. But where did he run off to? There's rumors of hidden passages beneath the House of Wisdom. Maybe he hid down there. I have heard the rooftop gardener mention these places, yes. What a colorful detail to include in my verse. The scholar 
by secret tunnels fled, chased by delusions of deities who want him dead. Be my eyes, Enkidu. Pardon me, but I heard a rumor about a hidden basement beneath the House of Wisdom. A secret basement? You must be joking. No, not at all. Surely, such a large building must have basements and cellars to store books and inks. I am aware of no such location on these premises. Perhaps a little token of my appreciation will jog your memory. Most generous. Murders, mayhem, and bonfires. It's time for me to depart the House of Wisdom. Father has a fine carpet shop in Samara. He always wanted me to take up the family trade. A wise choice. Now, about any hidden cellars. Oh, yes, uh, of course. Forgive me. Now that you mention it, there is a basement hatch in the northwest courtyard. Thank you. <laughs> Those who came before are... Those who came before are... <laughs> Looks clear. I can use my weapons again if needed. Oh! 
Wait, what? Leave you. I'll call for help. This letter mentions a private reading balcony. Might be where the reader has taken the book. Impressive volume, written by Fazil Fahim, could be his masterwork. Its title is, Those who came before are those who shall return. This has to be it. I better not use my weapons here. <sighs> Gatekeeper! Those who came before are... ...are those who shall return. Correct! You may proceed! Clear. I can use my weapons again if needed. It was your time.
There is a deep wrongness here. A reek of rot and iron. Those robes might help me get closer to Fazil. What have they done to these people? Poor guy will not need this anymore. This should help me blend in. terrifying thing is that I have seen it all before. Somehow. Who dares meddle with my great work? Killing my allies and spoiling my lecture. It's an outrage. It looks like the handiwork of a trained assassin. Must be some faction in the round city. Or one of those jealous broods in Shakti. These killings were too subtle for mercenaries. No matter. Once I understand how the mechanism works, I will prove myself to Al Bahamud. In here, Blackwit. You are new, aren't you? I don't recognize you. They promised you gold when you volunteered, yes? No matter. What you are about to behold surpasses all worldly riches. Don't be afraid. Are you afraid? This is my great work. I call it Arua. It will take you on a journey to another realm. Why did the first ones leave this world behind, filled with fools, I wonder, and make so few of me? We call this the House of Wisdom, but its foundations are unsound. For beneath the House of Wisdom lies the Dungeon of Ignorance. And upon such dark secrets we build our philosophies. Science is the noblest purpose. Knowledge is the greatest power. No. No? Then what? Oh. Oh. 
justice. This may be the place. It may be here where lies absolute knowledge. It, it is not how I remember it. Behind the doors, it looked brighter. But in the end, all we see is darkness. Scholar's notes. He believes in these ancient beings, the masters of memory. How did you find this place? Easy. I just followed the trails of blood. You should not be here. Do you talk to him? Sometimes. Yes. But he does not answer. I do. We have drifted apart since... ...since that day. But what we have seen, back at the palace... ...this light... ...these sounds... ...we cannot have possibly forgotten. Unlike you, Nihal... ...I keep the past... ...in the past. You call yesterday the past? And this Jinni of yours... ...this repulsive shadow that crushes your chest... ...has it crawled back into the past too? No... ...it is still here. Sometimes, even in the day, I feel its breath on my neck. The nightmare invades the real world, or has always been part of it. This is part of your reality, Basim. I am a part of your reality, too. I am your past. Tell me, will you leave me there? In the dark corners of your memory? I will not. Now, if you could invent a mechanical rug sweeper... Basim. It is done. And how did it all play out? I'm afraid this is a tale for another day. We will save it for one of our campfires. You have done well, my friend. Better get back to my work. You know how easily I get bored. Thank you for what mm. you did, Pasi. It is the truth. You have done well. 
One last thing. Arib. Was she... involved? Not that I know. But we must remain vigilant. I cannot keep them waiting. Are they aware, your companions, that their hunter is hunted in his sleep? If it were in my sleep alone, I could bear it. But it followed when I fled Anbar. Now it stalks me when I slay those I hunt. The ones from the palace, in the masks. Four are dead at my hand. The last, the head of the snake. We'll join them soon. Why slit its throat when you could loosen its tongue? What? Why would I... The Jinni only struck in sleep. It never dogged you by the day until you reached into that chest. The masked ones prize what lay within. The ancient object that woke at your touch. They may hold more answers living than dead. I hunt my enemies. I do not break bread with them. I took an oath, Nihal. How can you hunt when you are hounded? If you could walk the dark unburdened, you could better serve the light. I stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent, not from the order of the ancients. If you will not ask your foes, then at least ask your friends what slept in that chest, and why they sought it. My companions wait for me at the Harbiya Bureau. Clear your mind, Basim. Focus on the task before you. You took your time. Did you wait up, Master? I wait for no man. You look tired. Nothing a little adventure won't fix. What news? Ali thinks the time is right to attack the palace. The Oyun are distracted and the people divided. Divided how? Some are claiming the new Khalifa stole the throne from Abu Abdullah, son of al mutawakkil What do you know of him? Little. He was there at the palace, the night his father... 
the night I reached into that chest. Master, have we learned anything more about the object within? Why do you ask? It seems a shame we know so little about something the Order prized so much. Should we not seek to know our enemies better, the better to defeat them? Marhaban Basim, have I interrupted? No. We must turn to the task at hand. Of course, Abu Abdullah. Rebecca tells me you have met his mother, Khabiha. I did. I think she could be first among our foes. She, or Arib the poet, or Muhammad the governor. All three had ties to our enemies. Muhammad ibn Tahir. His cousins govern the land on which Alamut sits. Their protection is all that shields us from our enemies. I cut our enemies' legs beneath their master. Let me strike while their stumps are bloody. I will unmask them and learn their intent. Basim is right. We must act swiftly. Go to the Round City. Investigate all three, but take no further action. Reports back to me atop the house of the previous hill. Poet, politician, and concubine. I will soon know which one wears the mask. Fulav, my finder of facts, my fielder of questions. How can I be of help, Basim? Tell me about Arib. Her words were as scripture to members of the Order. A gifted artist and poetess, Arib won her freedom through her skill. Tabit tells me she keeps a luxurious home in the Round City. Anything else? What do you know of Kabiha? She had ties to the treasurer. Born to slavery, Kabiha rose to become Al Mutawakkil's favorite concubine in the harem. Yet her son was not made Khalifa, leaving her future uncertain. Anything else? Tell me about the governor. I saw him give orders to Wasif at Turkey. Muhammad is one of the Tahirids, powerful viceroys of the Khalifas in Persia. He governs all Baghdad from his seat at the courts. Anything else? Where can I find our suspects? All three live within the glorious round city, the power center of the Abbasid Khilafa. Anything else? Shukran, Fulad. Let us hope she is home. You will not bar me from my guests. This is my house. Bought with my generosity. Bought by my genius. For tokens, favors, and personal dedications, you may find Sayyida Arib in the garden after her recital. Good day. You must be her patron. It is an honor, Sayyidi. If I may, I seek a private audience with the poetess. Do you? I have been moved beyond words by her... words. Symmetry of sky and sea. I only wish to express my sincere admiration. Pretty words. Nearly as pretty as hers, and just as false. We both know what mask she wears, don't we? Mask, Sayyidi. Enough, Sayyidi. I know what you are, and I know why you've come. You think I haven't seen you skulking in the shadows. She's no longer party to your plots, your secret meetings, your foolish nicknames. I have scrubbed her clean of them. For I have set a watch on her door. My men dog her recitals. Every letter she's had of you I have shredded or sent back. Sent back? You will find them piled at the postal bureau. Burn them. Bury them. Do what you will. You can choke on them for all I care.
foolish nicknames, secret meetings. The patron may have thought me a member of the Order of the Ancients. The piles of letters at the Postal Bureau may reveal more. Let us see what mask you wear, poetess. Hey, that's close enough. They are looking for me. The Postal Bureau. I will do as the Ruyun do. Sift through strangers' mail and sniff out conspiracies. to find Haribs. Silence your song of sin, or I will do it for you. How kind. Moving on. After the honey drips from her lips, Athalab leaves the garden and follows the mouse. Secret order correspondence? Bad poetry? A bit of both? Harib could be a Thalab. The patron spoke of a recital in the gardens. I could give this letter to Harib and see where the vixen leads me. to the garden, give Athala her letter, and follow where she goes. Rage as the ocean, I will sweeten your storm. Scorch as the desert, be you ocean, desert, cobra, dove, all shapes and humors. Will I embrace? Hello there. Have we met? Come. 
Come, don't be shy. I rarely bite, and I never leave a mark. <laughs> it seems there's no privacy in the public eye. How came you by that letter? Who put you up to this? I work in the dark to serve the light. <laughs> I've met the men who serve the light. It seems its glare oft leaves them blind. Are your masters so blinkered and bumbling? You were warned, you son of a dog. Come a reap, we will set no tongues to wagging here. Yours is the tongue that will not still itself, even when I beg for silence. You spurned the counsel of he who raised you, and without whom you would still be nothing? I raised myself. I authored myself. I have written myself into history. You are banished from my pages. Now be gone! How can I leave you to walls such as these? You're a woman alone, unarmed. Words are weapons enough for me. Then let us see what defense they offer. Take her. There is somewhere the Seyida needs to be, and you are delaying her. It seems that words can summon shields. We will need to make this quick. Harib has left for her secret meeting. I must hurry. The letter commanded Athalam to leave the garden and follow the mouse. Perhaps Harib is not lost to me yet. Another crumb to follow. I am growing tired of this chase. No decency these days! I can draw a much better likeness. You should bring him before the Mazalim court. 
But he thinks only of my reputation, Sara. To safeguard success, I must be palatable, discreet. He fears I am too proud. <laughs> you? Never. I write that love is feral and free, unbound by stricter or statute. Should I not practice what I publish? Practice makes perfect. It also makes enemies. So be it. But let me choose them. Courtiers, caliphs, patrons, partners, so many men have tried to decide my enemies. <laughs> and friends. Though Allah knows I once chose poorly, he hid himself well. And a poet needs patrons, even one so great as Altpalov. Well, I have my pick. Good. There's trouble times ahead. I will be fine. I have survived six caliphs. I will survive... Six more. Don't worry, Sarah. I'll kiss the rings I need to kiss, but I will not be bound again. Not by anyone. Secret meetings. Coded names. There is no trace of the order here. Still, she has her pick of patrons. Maybe the head of the order is not Arib herself, but an admirer. Better keep a low profile. 